The Nyssa Police Department in Oregon lost one of their own. Police in Oregon arrested the man they say shot and killed Reserve Officer Joseph Johnson this weekend in Nyssa. Johnson was just 43. Police arrested the suspect around 8 o'clock this morning, and Abby Davis spoke with Nyssa's police chief about what this loss means to their community. Abby? Well, Brian and Morgan, Johnson worked at the Oregon Department of Correction as a mental health counselor. He was a reserve officer with the Nyssa Police Department, meaning he volunteered, something the police chief called the definition of service. Honor, integrity, service. Three words that make up Nyssa Police Department's mission statement. He exemplified that. And three words Police Chief Don Ballou says perfectly describe late Reserve Officer Joseph Johnson. Honor, integrity, and service. That's him. Johnson died in the line of duty Saturday night. He was 43. He's a husband. He's a father. He's a brother. He's a brother to us. And, um, and he's not going to be replaced. Monday morning, police in Oregon arrested 36-year-old Renee Castro, who they say shot and killed Johnson. This is a loss. At 8.20 p.m. on Saturday, Johnson responded to a call about a violent person damaging property and threatening some people at a house. In an interview Sunday night, Malheur County District Attorney David Goldthorpe said when Johnson got there, Castro had fled. So he started following that car, pursued that car um, several different blocks through town. Goldthorpe said Castro eventually pulled over and got out of the car. The officer, as he normally would, as any officer would have, was taking that as a traffic stop when the vehicle stopped. So he pulled over near where it stopped as well. And immediately, based on witness statements, the suspect, Renee Castro, just began shooting. Goldthorpe said Johnson was still in his car and had no time to return fire or defend himself. By the time anybody got there, which was very quickly, he was already deceased. Baloo says losing one of your own weighs heavily. You feel like you failed because you, in my spot, you, you promised your family they're going to come home. And he's not coming home. As the community grieves, Baloo says they'll remember those three words, honor, integrity, service, and how Johnson embodied them. I just want to thank his family for sharing him with us and having him share our time and let him be a family with us. Goldthorpe says Castro had previous run-ins with the police, so Johnson knew exactly who Castro was when he was responding. There is a press conference tomorrow morning about Castro's arrest, but Brian and Morgan, just a devastating loss for the community. The fact that he was a reserve officer, too, just volunteering his time yeah. out of the goodness of his heart. Putting himself in that situation. Yeah, exactly. Abby Davis, thank you. We will be